Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to a new video covering The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs brand new expansion coming out on November 10th and I am very excited because in this video we're going to be looking at the build and buy objects however I do apologize because for some reason this is only going to be a sneak peek because I came home with only half of my build and buy footage I'm not sure if the person who transferred it uh, maybe made a mistake and forgot half of my footage or if somehow I didn't press record. I don't know, it's a mystery. So I'm really sorry about that, you guys. It's just a sneak peek today and we'll go through it once I get the game uh, in its entirety. <laughs> anyway, this is a tree. It is a tree, obviously, but it's so cool because you can size it both up and down and it's got gorgeous red and orange autumnal coloring in it, which I am so excited about. And there's another tree there. And then this tree is gorgeous and it has different uh, amounts of flowers on it. So again, it's feeling a little bit autumnal with the flowers disappearing and then maybe blooming for spring. Here is a nice bush uh, I said in my trailer reaction video and I absolutely love these hedges of the poodle and cat. They're absolutely adorable. And uh, I'm just so annoyed I don't have all my footage here for you guys to see. That's so upsetting, but I guess we can all have a great time when it's out to look at it all and it'll be my instant reaction to it. So that'll be good instead of me talking over recorded footage. Here is a new fence gate, gate, not a fence. <laughs> and then there is a new fence to go with it. And you guys will see right now that this is kind of the aesthetic of the entire expansion pack. There's a lot of pieces that are very farm-like, uh, but then at the same time, or rustic farm-like. And at the same time, there's a really strong Hampton seaside feel about it as well. So I think builders and interior decorators you guys are just gonna have the best time with this expansion pack. I mean, everyone is, but if you really appreciate building, uh, this pack's really gonna be fantastic, as well as the new roofing tools uh, that we will have as a base game update. Here are some of the wallpapers. They're more traditional, very simple. We've got a lot of neutral colors, muted blues, uh, soft colors, creams, and we do have uh, exterior wallpaper that looks very Hamptons, <laughs> very, very Hamptons. Uh, and if you guys check out my other video showing the gameplay, my first ever gameplay in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, I'll link it on the screen or down below, uh, you guys will actually get to see uh, some of the existing builds in the world of, in the new world of Brindleton Bay, and they are very Hamptons-esque. Here's a couple of new wall decor items. I absolutely love this flower. Uh, flower pot thing on the wall. It's kind of tropical looking or I guess that suits the kind of seaside feel but it It's different to what we have already in the game Which I really like and you guys are about to lose it because we're gonna check out the doors and guess what we have dog and cat doors Look at them. They're so cute and your pets will utilize them. They'll run through them to get into the house I think they're so cute and we also have some bigger doors as well. Of course normal doors I love these. I love how a lot of the doors have some exposed glass on them. There is a locked item just down there for the vet clinics uh, that we are not allowed to cover at this stage. Until the game comes out, I'll be able to show you guys the vet clinics and we'll be able to explore those because they weren't really ready uh, to play while we were at Sims Camp. Here's some larger doors. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love the arch doorway too and all of those window divisions i think they look so nice and also some archways handy dandy that suit uh, the new the new doors they're nice uh also a new what do you call that like house frilling oh we've done a little bit of a spinner there <laughs> uh house frilling oh my gosh i should know the name of those by now and then we also have some new chimneys so yeah, all roof objects. There's one chimney, and I actually love the next chimney hat roof object thing. I love the cat on the moon. That art piece is really, really cool. And then there is some new flooring, which we just skipped over. Damn it, Deli. <laughs> but uh, it's just some timber flooring, and they're really, really nice. And okay, you can get a peek at all of the new build buy objects here. Oh my gosh, the chairs are amazing. And we're actually not gonna get through many of them at all. But at least you guys can see a little bit. I decided it was better to release the footage that I had than just wait until we got it. Uh, so at least you guys can get a little taste of it. 
Here is an armchair. I love how there's kind of a grandma, grandpa looking swatch and then you also have contemporary country and more traditional, really, really great swatches are in this expansion pack. There's a great array of them. Uh, so I, I'm really excited about it. It looks so nice. And then we've also got some stools. Uh, if you look below, you'll see that there's like a new toilet, a new bar, uh, a whole heap of new stuff there, wall decals. And there is a trestle table, which I'm really excited about because I love trestle tables. Coffee table desk. There's a whole heap of new stuff that we will go through when I have the game. So fingers crossed that's not too far away. <laughs> but this game will be out November 10th for everyone. Oh, and there's a couple of these chairs. I think there's two of them where you can actually build the wall around them and they look fantastic. So this is the exterior one. There's also an interior one, at least one more. There could be two more, but I think they just look fantastic. Well, anyway, you guys, I am sorry that this is not all of the footage I had planned to show you guys. Uh, it looks like there was a bit of a tech issue transferring it onto my hard drive, but at least we got a taste of it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I cannot wait to share you more. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.